Hey guys, how do you determine which is the very best language in the world at this particular moment in time? Depends when you're watching this video. Could be in 2018, could be in 2022. So how do you determine what is the best language at this time? Because you know it changes. Now people who know my way of thinking and know my vlogs no, but the answer is it depends. It depends on the project that you're doing. It depends on the type of coding that you want to do. And it also depends on what are the job opportunities in your area. You may feel that Ruby is the best language ever made. People love Ruby. But Ruby's use is in decline or is become more and more niche. It's not a shot on Ruby. Ruby's a good language. It's got a lot of good things about it. You may think that C Sharp is fantastic, but you look around, there's no jobs around for you. There's no jobs. C Sharp's not so cool if it can't get you any work. You get the idea. So, first thing you gotta do is you gotta determine what kind of programming you wanna do. Writing C code is very different from writing JavaScript code, as an example. Next thing you got to do is you got to look at the job opportunities in your geographical area. Where you want to work, look to see what's popular. You may find that PHP is super popular. You may find that Python is super popular. You may find Ruby is pretty popular or, or JavaScript. Depends on where you live. You also have to de determine what type of business you want to work for or you want to start your own business. If you have a computer science degree, engineering degree, some sort of technology degree, and you want to go work for a large company, much more likely that you're going to find jobs with C Sharp, Java, Python, maybe some Swift, JavaScript, much less likely you're going to find jobs in PHP. But on the other hand, if you want to go work for a very small business, or small medium-sized business, you're probably going to see a lot of PHP. Of course, you got to know your SQL. You're probably not going to see for medium and small-sized business too much Java. You're not going to see too much C Sharp. You're probably not going to see too much Swift. Depends. You get the idea. So that's how you determine what is the best language at this time. Those are the things you got to look for. To recap, the type of work that you want to do, where you want to work, what type of work should be, type of programming, where you want to work, and uh, whether it be small or medium-sized business, and where you want to work in terms of geography. That will determine for you the best language at this time. Because at the end of the day, by the way, all modern programming languages have their pros and their cons. They all can excel in different areas, and they all can suck in other areas. It really depends on what you're doing. All right, I hope that helps. Bye-bye.